In a study done by I4CP, high-performing organizations were twice as likely to support continuous learning and development of their employees. How often do you reward leaders who develop their subordinates? What kind of assessments would you use to measure the commands and commanders who conduct effective team development? Deciding how progress will be measured, monitored, and reported is one of the first steps for organizations that want to reshape their culture. Kevin Oakes lists 18 actionable steps in his book, Culture Renovation. His research is relevant considering CNO's comments when he discussed the root cause for the performance gap between our highest and lowest performing organizations as an outdated approach to institutional learning. How do you measure, monitor, and report your approach to learning? Lead well this week.